sell the Bears sell a couple uh, a couple players, uh, trade a couple players away. Um, you think they're in total sell mode, but then they turn around and trade a second round pick for Chase Claypool. Mm-hmm. Um, I th- as a Bears I like fan, this move for both teams. I do. I I think yeah. I think the Steelers probably have the edge if you really want to break it down in terms of like value i think they probably win the trade yeah. but for the situations that both teams are in i really like this for chicago to give justin fields at least now he has two legitimate receivers he can throw the ball to yeah which... you only had mooney for a little bit and now you get claypool and this is a long-term investment he's a young player uh second round pick might have been a little too high in my opinion at for like a wide receiver three currently so i mean you're investing a lot of trust in him as a player physically and we all know he has a high ceiling he has those he has like three or four games a year where he just pops off three or four touchdowns but i do like i love <laughs> justin fields this year he's making a lot of improvements and his passing yards they might not be up there but that's because he's getting it done on the ground i think you you open up the field a little more when you get clay pool because those dbs gotta look at those receivers a little more I think uh, we got to talk about the loss on the defensive side for them with Roquan Smith leaving um, a little bit more. I think that he was a huge part of what that defense did, and we've seen that defense kind of dictate the tempo for him in a few different games this year, like week one when they got that win against the Niners and just a few weeks ago when they throttled the Pats on Monday Night Football. I felt like games where the Bears are playing at their best, the defense is setting the tempo for him, and I think Roquan Smith was kind of – one of the leaders, if not, you know, the heartbeat for that defense. Um, maybe not, like, emotionally or in the locker room, but definitely on the field. Like, he performs. Um, and I think that that loss is going to be a little bit under uh, – I think they're going to – like, Chicago's going to feel that loss a little bit more later on. Yeah, I mean, the thing with Roquan Smith was the Bears were not going to pay him. They weren't going to tag him. Mm-hmm. Like contract, tr- con- the contract negotiations had already broken down uh, in the summer. Like it, broken down in a bad way. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we, you guys all know that he, he like he requested the trade and all that. Oh, yeah. Um, so I think I think you gotta flip him for something. Um, one thing that catches my eye whenever like these trades are going on is that valuing NFL players is so hard. Like hundred percent. Obviously, Roquan. He's a great player, but he's an off-ball linebacker. Like, mm-hmm. do you do you like send that first form? Do you take do you take the second? Yeah. Um, it that's all like that's all like crazy um like crazy GM work. But I do I do agree with with you, pal. That he's obviously he's probably the Bears' best player so far this year. Um, just straight up. But I think it was a necessary move, and once again, a, I think a win for both sides. Um, another <laughs> another good deal for Chicago as well as Baltimore. 